Hey guys, Steve Walsh, Beam and Toyota again, downtown Nashville. Um, I had a couple questions on this. This is going to be a really short video. I'm just kind of giving you a, a little uh, idea of what we're uh, looking at here. Um, the questions I've had is on the new RAV4 digital rear view mirror um, and how it's different from a regular rear view mirror or one of the ones that has the, uh, uh, the home link in it, which is your... Um, uh, garage door openers. Uh, so hopefully this helps you here, uh, answers a few questions. So um, what I'm gonna show you here, this is your digital rear view mirror. Obviously it looks just like a regular rear view mirror, of course, um, but you got a few differences. These right here, those are your home link buttons. So whichever one of those you've got for uh, your home, you, if you have the garage door, you can set that. If you have a gate, you can set that. Uh, the way to set that is you actually press and hold that while you're holding the uh, clicker that you have. It'll memorize the code. You also have the ability to press the code on the uh, um, the one at your house. They, they usually have a learn button. You can try it that way, um, but uh, that's what that is. So the home link, instead of being on the bottom or like on the Highlander up here, it's actually right here on the bottom of the mirror. So um, that is your home link. Um, so definitely know that. Um, now what I'm gonna show you here though is how this digital rear view mirror works. So first off, just from the look of it, you can see it looks a little different than your average rear view mirror. It's a little more bulky. Uh, has a little bit more to it. Um, there's a couple extra buttons on there and we're gonna kind of go over those. Um, but first thing you'll notice is it has this lever. Most people recognize that lever that when somebody has their bright lights on behind you, you pull that lever and it makes it where the bright lights go away. On this version, this is a self dimming rear view mirror. So you don't have to worry about that, but that button does something totally different. And when you pull it, it actually lights up the screen for what's behind you. Um, so that is from a camera that's in the back. I'll show you that camera here in just a little bit. Um, but like I said, it's a camera that's behind you. Now this, if you don't like it for any reason for um, how it looks, you can change it. This right here is a menu. When you come to this menu, you've got several options here. Um, once you select it, you can see, so this right here turns on or off the uh, self dimming mode. This one right here is the brightness. So when you come through, you can see how bright or how dim you want that to look. You come through the next one. This is a position. And keep in mind, you're hitting this button to select and to go back. So when you do this, you can see how the position is. So you can actually set it for however is best for you to see. This right here, this is side to side. So if it's something where uh, it looks a little bit different to you, you can definitely change that. This is a tilt. So you can actually tilt it a little bit. You now, if you keep your mirror in a different way, um, it can help you to see that a little bit better. Um, come back over, magnifying glass, guess what? It zooms in or zooms out. So you can zoom that in, you can zoom that back out. Um, usually people just kind of leave it zoomed out, but do what you want to do. This right here, uh, this is uh, like a special mode, uh, an enhanced mode, I believe. Um, so you can do whatever you want to with that. Um, click back. So now we'll click that back off. But that shows you how to use and how to uh, um, the different looks in the digital rearview mirror to shut it back off. Should you want to shut it back off? Goes right back to a regular mirror. If you look really close, I'll try to give you a little idea there. You can see the little ring that's around there. That's what encompasses. And I'll turn it back on that digital camera. So or that digital raw video monitor. So your mirror is now a video monitor, um, which is just kind of crazy to think about. Um, so definitely there's that to know. Um, I'm gonna show you where the camera is on the back here. So if you look through, your camera is actually right here. If you look through, I'm gonna open the back here. Um, by doing that, I'm gonna be able to show it to you a little bit better. That's your backup camera right there, which is not the same thing. You have that camera right there in the very top of the back of your, um, your RAV4's back window here. Um, and then what I'll show you here too is I'm gonna do this real fast. You can see when you look at it, 
I've got the the wiper on here and I'll go ahead and I'll shut that off because I can still show you what I want to show you because of the this one's got a little bit of dirt on the back window that I've now cleared off if you look you can see the lens of the camera is right here so the wiper will actually be able to clear the lens of the camera for you uh, to help keep that uh, very clear picture that high definition picture for what's behind you so hopefully this answered a few questions on your digital rear view mirror um, that some people have been asking and uh, definitely steve welch beam toyota let me know if i can help you with anything give me a call or a text 615-645-3039 i look forward to helping you with the night with a beautiful new car um, if you just have a general question uh, feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments i do respond to all of the comments uh, uh, definitely if they're uh, uh, if they're put on in my comments there so uh, steve welch beam toyota hope you all have a great day